You had the premiere yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're acting on film, you don't really have the audience feedback to go with. The very first impression you get is a public screening. Mm -hmm. Is that terrifying? Is that wonderful? Is it exhilarating? Is it all of these things? So I think it's all of these things. I think we were really excited. We were excited. And, um, and um, the good thing is, imagine, the festival started on 20th and then we just premiered at 26th. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of expectations and uh, people who watched the movie through the, um, how you say, the market, they get in touch with us. Uh, sharing their f feedback, and then, of course, there was uh, there was a, a bit of, a, how you say, anxiety. But then, um, um, during the premiere, when you enter that room and you see the room completely full of of people, and then uh, during the screening, you just feel the silence and uh, that everybody is connected with the story that we are telling. I think it, um, uh, it it takes you to another space, you know. Uh, yeah, and then when the film um, was ready, the reactions they were overwhelming. Yeah. But like standing ovations, and um, I, for me personally, at that point I couldn't really feel something anymore because it was just too much. I, I felt like I was beamed away <laughs> to another <Yeah>. universe. <laughs> I was okay. Um, it was impressive this this um, how you say uh, premiere. Yes, yeah. we are really uh, happy and blessed. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes, because it's it's. Uh, I mean, um, um, the 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 energy. It was. I think we were not there, like everyone making its 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 part, doing what he has to do. It it, it was a kind of a a human collabor collaborative uh, energy sharing, yeah. you know? Talking about notions of energy, watching the film, I'm just wondering how emotionally exhausting was it to make? Because you go from the gamut of human emotions throughout. Were you just not exhausted by the end of it, physically and emotionally? Mm. Yeah, I think we were. I think every day of shooting was challenging yeah. and that also has to do with the work we did before because we forced ourselves so hardly to really look into the characters to really be so close to them mm -hmm. and uh, we had a long time of preparation with the director but also we all together we rehearsed we talked about it we talked about it a thousand times and we never stopped talking stopped searching so for me every day felt i felt every uh, every night I was totally exhausted, but absolutely happy. But it's also very important, and that is one of the uh, big things and uh, one of the big power of the film that I think there's such a deep and true and honest connection between all of us, so that we have a lightness in being with each other and that we enjoy it so much and that we will take good care for us. Yes, and of course there are uh, certain, uh, you say, uh, challenges on by doing this movie. This movie is a really f physical movie, you know. Um, Yesterday I was asked, sorry to interrupt, but how how you did it uh, with the with your arm, and, and I said you had to you had to practice even yes. this physically, playing like this. Yeah, uh, this was really the hardest part for me. Yes. To be honest, I actually thought that was uh, largely CGI, but you were actually acting with one hand tied behind yeah. your back? Yes, yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Yes, we had to combine both. Mm. I don't know if I am allowed to tell this kind of things, <laughs> but uh, it's yes, my we, fault had, because we had to combine, yes, we'll because, fix that in the <laughs> because, you know, because there is naturally yeah. VFX, but mm. uh, yeah. we tried to guarantee the things on set and then use uh, uh, visual effects to accumulate <coughs> mm -hmm. everything, you know. So um, there was a really physical demand to, yeah. to, to, to play this role. And uh, as you can imagine, there is a lot of scenes where I have to run. I'm so and impressed when, by that. When you run with just one arm, yeah. it's not the same. The balance of your body, it's not the same. Yeah. When you have a lot of scenes, 
with just one arm is not the same, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then there is a lot of things. But um, this uh, this uh, challenging dragged me to uh, um, how you say to a dimension, specific dimension of the character, you know, and. Um, uh, and in this sense, I had to work more from inside to outside, mm. because I had to listen what my body was was telling me. Is that different from your usual approach when it comes to a role? Um, yes, I, am, I consider myself um, an um, intellectual uh, actor. I mean, I I work um, through the um, how would you say um, assimilation and and uh, how you say association of ideas regarding uh, the actions of the scene and um, and the decisions that the character takes and from that on i start to build the the, the psychology and um, the emotional uh, range of the character mm -hmm. but when it's it uh, you had to deal with physical um, questions uh, there is no way to there is no way no time no energy to try to do another thing which is not what is what you are really feeling i mean you've talked about the physicality of the character but for both of you i'm wondering was it a point during reading the script or perhaps rehearsal or even production was there a moment where you thought okay this is the key to understanding this character as a person was there a single moment like that that you could really identify to be honest um, every time I see the movie and I see it on a big screen, I have the feeling to understand it a bit better. Mm -hmm. Because of course, I, I, I know everything about my, my figure and I try to be as honest as I can. But then to get the possibility to watch it as a big construct and to watch everything Bohan was thinking about, this always is a very special moment for me because then everything leads together. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah, it's the story. And um, for me, sometimes it's the first time when I really see the movie that I realize it's working. Yeah. We still have time. Uh, 30 seconds. 30. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> the thing is, uh, for me, there is no um, unidimensional characters. The character is always incomplete. And this is what gives us space to keep searching, you know, and discovering, yes, without judging um, the actions of the characters. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would be moralists. Mm -hmm.